Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Mother God is Hotter. This is Hotter. Coming here with a short tutorial or tutorial on how to wrap paper. So, recently, a couple of months ago, probably in like September-ish, I learned that you can wrap paper. Now, I was very familiar with wrapping canvas because I've been wrapping canvas ever since... 2015 because I learned how to do it in college when I went to LaGuardia Community College when I got my associate's degree so when I recently found out that you could wrap paper I felt like it was so perfect because I just recently switched to using canvas to making works on paper because I've been working with watercolors and color pencil and oil pastels Ooh. and all that good stuff so now I'm going to show you guys all the things that you need to wrap paper and plus a little bit of other things because I like to add some materials in there just to make it fun and cool and just according to my perspective. So, so the materials that I have are these stretch bars and I'm going to make a diptych which is two works that come together as one. So I'm going to be stretching two. So I have these stretcher bars, I have paper, I have watercolor paper from Archers, this is 400 pound paper, so when I wet the paper in this water solution, it's going, it's not going to rip, it's going to be like flexible, and it's going to allow me to stretch it over the bars. So this, this is 8 by 10 inches, and this paper is 9 by 12. So just to give me like a little more room to be able to stretch the paper on the box. You need a, a staple gun. And I have alcohol ink here so that I can drop some in the paper because I want to tint the, the paper. Because this is like really white and I want it to be like an orangey tint. So I'm going to put some alcohol ink inside the water so that when I put the paper in the water, it could be more orange than just this white color. And then I'm going to stretch them over the bars. So I'm going to remove one just to give me some more room. I'm going to take this paper, put it to the side. Take this, put it to the side. And I'm just going to work with one. So, the color of alcohol ink that I'm going to drop in the water solution is called Calabaza Orange, and it's from J Cord Alcohol Ink. It's in like the pinata um, line. So it's here. And I'll put the exact um, spelling and everything in the link to get it in the description box. So I'm going to, I got this big bowl of water. It's not all the way filled because I don't need it to be all the way filled. And I'm just going to drop some drops in. So I'm going to drop it, drop, 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 drop. Drop, 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 drop. I'm going to put some more. Ooh. Looks like the power of raw. From the Prince of Egypt. The power of Okay. So it's pretty orangey. You can see. It's a nice like reddish orange color. And um, okay. So I have that in it. And then what I'm going to do is just like soak the water. I'm just going to like put it inside like I'm just gonna put it inside. Mm. This is interesting. So for this alcohol ink, the last time I did it it didn't have the speckles on it. So I don't know what in this type of alcohol ink because I did a different one from a different line. I don't remember the name of it, but it didn't have these speckles in it. 
so I wonder if it's because I didn't necessarily wash this bowl from the last time I just rinsed it out with water I didn't like wash it with soap so I wonder if that's like the, the old residue from the alcohol ink before but it is tinting it Just dumping it just so it could be like see how it's starting to warp. So once it starts to warp, then it's like good. So I'm gonna do half of it. I'm gonna do the other half. Get the middle so I feel like the middle can touch it. Mm. Okay, I feel like it should be good enough now. I don't want the paper to rip because I am bending it to be inside of this bowl. Oh, look at this side. I might wrap it on this side so this could be the front of it because it looks more orange here. All right, let me chill with the rubber before it starts. Okay, okay. now you see it's like real flimsy, but it's not gonna rip. Watch. Okay, so I'll put that to the side. I'm gonna have this to the front because I want this to show. So. Okay, so before I wrap the paper, I'm going to put this green color on it because I want it to be an orange tint, but then I want the alcohol ink of the green to like really stand out more. So I'm going to like drop it on some. And this color is Rainforest Green. So I'm trying to do like a, a diptych of like, like, um, like a landscape colors. I want to do like, um, what's it called? Like Mother Earth. It's gonna be Mother Earth face. I'm just gonna drop some, drop some. Okay, okay, okay. I like this. Okay. So then I'll flip it over because I have to wrap it. I'll flip it over. Then I'll just pull one side. Then I get the staple gun. I'll tack it. So then from that side that I tack, I do the adjacent side. And I stretch that. Then I go on the other side, which is the, so I just did that 18 inside, so now I'm going on the 10 inside. I'm stretching it so you got to pull so it can be as stretched as possible so that you can get that drum sound. So it can be really tight. Um, I did that too much on the side. I'm going to take that out. Then go back on the 18 inside. Pull more. Just gotta keep pulling, wrapping, and tacking with the staple gun. Then go on the adjacent side. So, 
I have, I worked with what I got because I got 9 inch, I bought a big pad of 9 inch by 12 inch paper and for stretch bars that you could just buy without getting them custom made. I don't think you get, get anything smaller than 8 by 8 inches by 10 so that's why I just work with what I got because normally it would be preferred to get like at least 2 inches on all sides but since I got 9 by 12 inch paper that's arches that's 400 pounds which is like really dense um i just get 8 by 10 stretcher bars because i can't get anything smaller if i could get something smaller i would get like 5 by 7 or 6 by 8 so that the paper could have could be bigger than the bar so it could fully wrap around but i can't fully wrap this around but it'll still like have the drum sound it'll still be efficient but it's just like you see like like this part it's fully wrapped over and I have to like tag this up here I can't fully wrap it over because the paper is not large enough you know to fully wrap over but this is how we looking already we looking like this already I like this <laughs> polka dye I gotta put more for the next one I'm gonna put more alcohol ink for the for the second one that I do I'm gonna put more alcohol ink so it could be a real big tint because like I see the orange but it's not that much tent. It's not that much. Not how I would want it. Yo. Keep going off to the side. Because the paper is not big enough. pulling because it can be pulled don't think you better stop because you can keep pulling the water is still wet it's still damp so you can keep pulling it and then get tighter and tighter and tighter So for the corners, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the corners. Just, I think I could close this corner off over here. So for the corner, I just like tuck one side in and have it like overlap. So it could be cool. So I tuck this on the 10 inside, I tuck it in. And then the 8 inside, I put it over so I could have this nice overlap here. Then I tack it. Then I'll do over here. Stretch a little more. Ten inside, inside. Eight inside, overlap. So you can have a nice smooth corner. And it's just like wrapping canvas. So if you know how to wrap canvas, it's just, it's just the same. It's just paper. And like these extra, I'm going to just cut them off because we don't need it. So I'm going to just cut that off after I wrap everything. But you already hear a little drum. But when it gets fully dried, like when the paper fully dries, it sounds like this. That. But when it's damp, it gets it has like a a sound that's like not that much. Ten inside in, eight inside overlap. Oh, one 
one more corner to do and we are finished. I like this pattern. Ten inside and eight inside overlap. This one is finished. It's paper. This is not canvas. This is paper. This is not canvas. Uh, 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 uh.